All right, in this video, we're going to create a basic headstock shape as well as the transition from the neck to it. First things first, uh, let's get rid of this uh, material right here. We really have no use for it. If you select this interior face and hit E and push back through it, you'll get this red, uh, transparent red cube that lets you know you're performing a cut operation. So let's go ahead and do that. Select OK. And then you'll notice that it left you two separate faces. Um, in the solids tab, if you select the smaller of two faces and delete one, it'll do its best to normalize that. And here we've been able to. So now let's go ahead and work on the profile for the headstock shape. We'll make the uh, strings component visible again. It's kind of dim because right now the fretboard component is the active component, but we should be able to see this well enough to work with. So let's go ahead and make a new sketch. We'll do one on the ground plane. What we want to do now is take a, create a line. And we're going, OK, let's turn off the sketch grid. <clears throat> All right. So let's make a line. And we're going to go from the center point of the far left post hole to the center point of the right post hole, hit Enter. Let's go ahead and delete any coincidences and break any links. And let's select the line and let's move it up about half an inch. And delete any ugly leftovers. So what this does is this gives us a nice top edge for the headstock that is in line with the uh, angle of the tuning machines as you would see on a Telecaster or a Stratocaster style headstock. Let's go ahead and turn sketch grid back on now and let's create a two point rectangle. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a bounding box or uh, an area for us to work inside. If you ever notice that your sketch grid is on but you're not snapping just toggle it back on and off and then you'll see that you are you are able to that you are able to snap again. There we go. It's getting late. So let's create a bounding box. For me, I think seven and a half by four inches is going to be plenty to work within. Again, this is this all this headstock. This is all this is all personal choice. It's up to you how you want to design it. Um, this is just giving you my methodology of how to approach it. So now that we have this line, let's try to extend it. And you can do so by going up to Modify, Extend. And now we can delete, actually let's trim the top half off. And now we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to draw two guidelines for, um, for splines. And what this is doing, this is going to give us a nice uh, intersection between two lines that we can snap to. So let's select this outer point of the fretboard. And the distance really doesn't matter. I do like a 30 degree angle. We'll hit enter. Let's do the same again for the bottom. Select the bottom edge of the fretboard. Come out about three inches. Again, the length doesn't matter as long as it crosses over. And then again, a 30 degree angle. Now what we've created is we've created some uh, points to snap to for our splines. So let's, let's uh, snap here. And then back to the fretboard, right click, repeat, and snap, and snap. Now we can delete those guidelines. They are of no use to us. Let's go through and trim out all these uh, unnecessary lines. And then let's make those two splines. We've created tangent with the headstock as well as the fretboard. I'm not going to make this uh, line tangent to this line just because for you know artistic approach and just a different way to, of seeing how it's done. I will leave this as is. Um, this can easily be changed to fit whatever design you want, either, either with a line or you can uh, do a Boolean operation later. So now that we have the basic 
profile, what we want to do is find the center point of this curve and then this curve. Being curves, you really can't, you really can't tell. So what we want to do is let's make a line from here to here and then a line from here to here, going from point to point for each edge of the curve. And then what we'll do is we'll make another line because as you see with a straight line, it'll tell you where the uh, midpoint is. And then if we come out a little bit, you'll see a little green uh, right angle symbol. So we want that. Again, the length doesn't matter. Where are you at? There it is. I'll do the same for this line. Now what we want to do is draw a line from the midpoint of each curve. Let's go ahead and turn the sketch grid back off. Draw a point from here. To here. Let's see, did that actually? No, didn't think so. Let's try that again. So let's snap from that point. To that point. After we've done that, we can draw the get rid of the guides we just drew. Perfect. Now let's select this profile right here and let's extrude it down. Since the arrow is pointing up, let's use a negative value for the downward. And again, this is based off the bottom of the fretboard, so we want to add back the, the distance of the fretboard. Okay, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and click this edge. All right, should I say this face? And let's draw a, let's create a, let's create a sketch. Maybe. There we go. Let's turn snap back on. And just like before, we want to make a three point curve. Complete any coincidences. Let's move this down about an inch. And then Let's make our handles nice and straight. Again, let's ensure that they're equal. And then let's draw two lines on these edges. Let's stop the sketch. Let's do the same thing on this face. Create sketch. And for this one, let's come down, let's, let's do an inch. Again, adding back the uh, material of the fretboard. So that way from the top of this point to that point is one full inch. And we'll make sure our handles are straight up and down yet again. And we'll make sure that they're equal. Now, let's stop sketch. Let's go back to our first and second fret. And let's make a new sketch on the bottom plane. And we'll draw a straight line from the 12th fret to the 1st fret. And then from the 1st fret, we'll make a, a spline through these three points. And the reason why we drew the first 
uh, the 12th fret to the first fret is so we can use that line for tangency. And now you can see that this line doesn't go up at all. It just goes all the way down. We'll hit stop sketch. Let's go to this sketch. Let's turn off our bodies. And what we want to do is we want to go to surface, loft. We'll select the first fret, the line we made at the nut, and then the line we made off the headstock. And then we want to select our rails. And once we've done that, you see that it's created a full surface. So let's hit OK. Let's turn off these sketches. In the surface tab, let's go to loft. And we're going to finish this surface up and make it a body. Patch this hole. as well as this hole, and we'll stitch it all together. And now we have a complete body. So let's turn our other ones back on. And let's grab the headstock. Let's go back to the solid tab, go to combine, and grab our headstock uh, body and combine it with our transition that we just made here. Hit OK. And to get rid of this piece, let's go to split body. And we'll select the whole body for that. And then for the splitting tool, we'll select the bottom of the headstock. And as you see, that'll cut all the way through. Hit OK. And we'll turn that off. And now, if we go up to combine, select the body, uh, the neck, and the headstock. And hit OK. You'll see for the most part, we're just about there. So now what we want to do is we want to create that nice curve through here, and that's going to be pretty easy to do. So let's create a new sketch. Turn the sketch grid on. And I know, um, I believe a fender Stratocaster is about 0.65625, so so that will give us the height we want our uh, the material of our headstock to be, and we'll draw a straight line all the way through to about here, and then let's make a a curve if you hit control 5 it'll give you a will let you see the lines within your mesh and then let's finish this off Let's take this line we just, or the spline we drew, let's make that nice and tangent. Give it a nice curve. And let's trim off that edge. And delete whatever's left. So now that we have that, let's hit E for extrude. And we'll come out about, let's say, three inches. And then over here, let's go to symmetric. So we're doing it through both ends and hit OK. So that gives us that. Now, again, they're pretty faint, but if you go through and you select the profiles for each of your tuning machines, hit E, negative one. And that'll punch those all the way through the headstock. And then for the nut, let's go through here. Hit Q, 
Let's bring that out. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Let's go to point 0.5. Actually, I lied. Let's not do that at all. So let's do. Uh, let's select this face. Instead of uh, offsetting it, we'll do an extrusion. So let's extrude it, and we'll do 0.5. And over here for operation, let's do a new body. Select OK. Again, I like to apply the the wax appearance. And now what we have here is let's select this edge. Hit Q to offset 0.1. We'll do the same over here, Q, let's do 0.3. So now what we want to do is we need to cut this again to match the curve of the headstock. So let's expose, uh, let's turn on this sketch. Again, we'll do three, symmetric, cut through, turn that sketch off. Now what we need to do is we need to trim the edges of this to match the fretboard. So let's do split body. And then for the splitting tool, let's find our sketch. And then we'll, what we'll do is these little, uh, these little pieces we just produced, let's turn those off. And turn our sketches off. Now let's turn on our nut slot profile. Let's edit it to make sure it's the right length. And then let's just uh, select that and extrude it down. And that gives us a nice uh, little cut for where our nut would go. And once that's done, let's select our body. Let's select our little uh, piece here. Combine them. Let's hit Control-6 to go to solid lines. Let's turn off our strings. And let's, uh, let's give these a fun little fillet just, just for the sake of doing it. All right, so that should be just about it for a, a neck again. This can easily be easily be customized to be any shape you want. Oops. Let's check the uh, curvature on the bottom. Let's go to direction horizontal, quality high. And as you see, it comes in just a little bit for where this heel is, but that should be pretty good. Let's hit cancel. And if you really just want to add a little bit of a finishing touch, let's select this edge, hit F for fill it. Let's select that one. We'll do or not. Okay, next time. All right, that's the basics. Again, this is my approach to it. Um, it all depends on exactly what you're looking for and what your design's gonna be. But the methodolo methodology should be the same. Um, let me know if it works for you. If there's anything you'd like me to change or anything you think can be done better, please let me know. Thank you.